Hey everybody, welcome once again to another Low on Health Year End Review. Once again, I haven't done any of these type of videos in like forever. Like been, a year, because it's a year in Well, review. I haven't done the year in review in a year, but I haven't <laughs> done a lot of these videos in this, this, this place in, in a while. Yeah. Um, but of course, it is the year end review, in which case we're going to go over what we uh, washed and kind of uh, ate, kind of indulged, kind of... What we ate? Yes. Anyway, well, we partaked of, of different mediums, uh, in which case this time we're going to start with movies in 2014. Which I want to say we probably saw the same amount of movies in theaters than we did the year before, probably. And probably. Maybe probably, probably about the same. Probably rewatched a lot of older movies this year, probably than we did the year before. Yeah. Um, for reasons. For reasons. Okay, so let's go ahead and just jump right here into our top five in no particular order. Like we just wanted to kind of give a top five that we wanted to give our nods to, and we pretty much agree on these to a degree. In which case, uh, once again, not in any particular order, we have Guardians of the Galaxy. Number one. Which just goes to show how popular the Marvel franchise is, and if a movie's done well... Yeah, that you can do a movie that's just like... Entertaining. Yeah, kind of no-name actors, franchise no one had ever heard of before. So, really good. We're happy to see that did well. Uh, the Lego movie, which I actually saw by myself in 3D. I'm like, oh my god, this is great. And then, did you? Yeah, it was around this time last year. Everybody on Facebook was like, it's awesome. I'm like, I'll go see it. I'm like, it is awesome. And I'm like, you have to go because it's awesome. And I, oh. I actually got to, forced you to actually go watch it in 3D, didn't That's, I? No, we did not watch it in 3D. We didn't watch it in 3D? No. Okay, well, I watched it in 3D. It was awesome. I forgot. That's like the only movie you've seen in like several years without me first. Yeah. Um, then, of course, you have Wolf of Wall Street, which is kind of like what I'm going to say our Django movie was the year before. Like, just a really good, critically acclaimed, just solid movie. And, I mean, you were, like I said in the notes here, you, like, you realized it despite its subject matter, because it was just still, like, put together so well. Yeah, it's a super entertaining movie, but, you know, if you stop liking everything that's problematic, there's not going to be anything left to like. Um, the yeah, next movie fun. is going to be The Secret Life of Walter <laughs> Mitty, which I wasn't really kind of looking forward to at all. You were more than I was. Yeah. Um, I liked it more because it was almost like a travel video. Surprised both of us. Kind of like, I, I, I equate it to Lost in Translation, which is maybe a good thing. No. It, well, no, well, Lost it, in Translation is a good movie, but I don't know if it's an apt comparison for this movie. Because it focuses on the locale more than the characters to a point. No? I don't remember that of okay. Lost in Translation. Um, but really cool vistas of like oh, what, Greenland and Iceland, like the North Atlantic area. Yeah, like really very, cool. like the cinematography, very, very sweeping, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. And like, I like the end because the end was like very inspiring and like made, it made me want to go do stuff. Um, next movie is going to be Big Hero 6. Um, in which case, it was just awesome. It was just a very good, solid movie. I make the joke, that's what happened if they won after Pearl Harbor because of San Fran Tokyo. San Fran Tokyo. Whatever it is. Um, but just a really good, solid, like, almost like kid sci-fi movie. Like, it's just really good. Yeah. Or like an action hero movie. I don't, like, it just covers so many genres and it's just solid. Um, but yeah, so those are our top five in no discernible order. So if you haven't seen any of those movies, you probably should. Just, Guardians would probably be just, the number one just, of the number one, though. Yeah. Like, if yeah. we had to pick number yeah. one, if, I had, Guardians, if you had to see one movie one. last year, they would be Guardians. Um, in which case, if you haven't seen any of these movies, you, they're all available. Then what is wrong with you? Well, Big Hero isn't out yet, right? And why Big are Hero, you our Big friends? Hero is probably not out yet. Yeah. Um, now, the next is just this movies that, or that we that watched we the throughout the year, almost <laughs> in chronological order since we watched them. So you have the Thor movie. Meh. Thor the Dark World. Um, and there's War Game, which I kind of enjoyed. I mean, despite Andrew's the act, author, and whatnot, cool. and what it's based on, yeah, it was just a really person. cool premise. He's a horrible person. The book is really good. Uh, I've read let's see what we got here. Uh, Knights of Bad Astum, um, if you want to see a nice, cool kind of uh, LARPer movie a la Gamers. <laughs> the movie was really right? entertaining. Kind of had like that Gamers vibe to it to a point. Yeah, but I don't know if everyone's going to know what yeah, movie Well, that that's is. fine. Okay, Captain America. Rob Robocop was horrible. X-Men was, once again, Quicksilver was the only good part. Good. Her was a debate in our top five. We kept going back and forth on her, but we probably... Walter Mitty kicked it out. Yeah, we would rather watch those movies before we would watch her again. That's not to say it's a bad movie, but just then you know it's it's, it's up there. It's yeah, up there. hers, yeah. Um, Maybe if there was a top six, her would be there. Uh, Jodorowsky's Dune was recommended by Alex and Cam from Loading Run Run, and I did not enjoy it for reasons li listed in those text thingies. Transcendence was meh, okay. Transcendence could have been good. I mean, Spider-Man was... Noah like, was pretty. Noah was interesting, yeah. Noah was pretty. It wasn't as bad as we, we expected it to be. Yeah. Um, and then, of course, we had the passing of Robin Williams, which we'll talk about in probably another podcast. But because of that, we decided to go back and watch movies that... that you had not seen or that I had not seen or that were really good. Yeah, like we recommended, like, once she's seen, that I hadn't seen was Dead Poets. I mentioned... Uh, uh, Good Morning Vietnam, which she hadn't seen. If and, I had seen it, I didn't recall. Um, right. And then we basically both watched Bicentennial Man, which we both almost agree is like our favorite when you think about Robin Williams' films, that he is Robin Williams, not like Aladdin, which his performance is great in. I don't know if that's my favorite Robin Williams movie, but it is one of them. 
Um, then we have Cormio. A lot of these movies I saw she didn't see because she values her time more to a point. Um, Zero Theorem was... We, I, we spend our time doing different Zero things. Theorem was... I almost kind of want to recommend it, but not really. I mean, it's... Zero Theorem is a good... It, I recommend it if you like really weird movies. Um, Jacob the Liar, which I... I, I thank you, Kevin, oh, for reminding so me about sad. Jacob the Liar. But yeah, it's a sad, but funny. So I, sad. I, I liked it. So um, good. I've seen... I actually saw it in theaters when it came out ages ago. Oh, really? Yes. Wow. Um, and Edge of Tomorrow, which was Edge just... of Tomorrow was really, really good. It was good. It was okay. It wasn't great. Yes, it was. It was better than Oblivion. Yes. And uh, once again, just they didn't know what they were doing marketing wise for this no, movie, they which is just sad. <laughs> but it was really good. Um, Decoy Bride, which um, I was for some reason watching David Tennant stuff, and he was doing a promo for the movie. I'm like, oh, let me watch this. And eh, it's a British mm-hmm. rom com. I didn't see it. Um, Godzilla, the new one, which I mentioned before, like the humans <laughs> made so many mistakes. You're just like, that, like you know what? You deserve whatever happens to you. Because you should have won. Like you know, it's like, oh, we gave them radioactivity; <laughs> they can make babies. Oh, well, our bad. Oh, we try to fight them, but we screwed up. Our bad. It's like, no. At this point, they they, they should get it. I, I can't feel it's good for the humans. Transformers was ah, uh, 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 Rainbow Rocks. Rainbow Rocks is really. I would good. say like I'm trying to think like if we were make like auxiliary top like the top ten like five I would say Equestria. Uh, yeah, because like like if you're like if you ask me like the movies on the list to do what do you do you want to watch one of these again that's not the top five we'd be like yeah let's watch Rainbow Rocks and Rainbow Rocks was mainly because the sound was the the music was great yeah yeah the like, music was the, great the, the bad dazzlings, the, 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 bad yeah, the dazzling bad guys music was just awesome I have all of it on my iPod um, <laughs> really good it's so good um yes yeah, in City Hercules yeah. man Hercules the, was alright yeah. The, the, gi- giver the Giver, I had read the book, and I remember having fond memories of the book. I yeah. actually told you to read the book, and you were like, oh, what about this, this, and this? I'm like, I don't don't remember any of that so bad long things. Ago, yeah. yeah. Um, like I said, it is my, uh, my pretty that much dyst- my... The dystopia they portray in is, that is universe my favorite. is... And my preferred. No, that would be your utopia. That would be my utopia, yes. It's not, it's not um, your preferred dystopia. That would be a utopia. Interstellar, I would maybe put in that top ten. And then the secondary top ten. Yeah, yeah I, I would too, yeah, because even I, though you were disappointed with it, you didn't hate it. You it was, still enjoyed the it experience. Was a good spe- it was a good spectacle. I liked that they turned, they, they made something very human sci-fi. Yeah. I liked, that was one of the things I really you liked about You hated the time loop, though, which I think you mentioned. So what? The, cl- the closed time loop. Yeah, I don't yeah. like closed time loops because it implies free will does not yeah. exist. Um, Lucy, so. man, as you can see our, our things there. Mockingjay, T- Turtles was horrible. Turtles, the only good scene was the part in the elevator. Which I had thought thing. was going to be longer. I no, wish it was no. longer. Uh, Maze Runner was decent. Yes, yeah, um, decent. Once again, because Robin Williams and the third one came out this year, we're like, oh, let's check out this Night at the Museum franchise. In which case, the first one was kind of cute. But the second one was just uh, had it had yeah. so much potential. Yeah, I mean, that's why like we were the, the premise has amazing potential, but they wasted it all on um, pop culture references yeah. and slapstick jokes, Which and we it's like, no, you could have made it so. Cool. Um, for some reason, this year I mentioned Iron Sky yes! because the uh, the crowdfunding for the second movie came up, <laughs> and I mentioned it to Rose, and she hadn't seen it yet or heard about it. So and I'm like, Space saw... Nazis, you haven't. You haven't so seen we watched this? a trailer, and I'm like, that looks like the best. B movie crap ever. Let's watch it, and, and I couldn't stop laughing the entire time. That is a great B movie. And the thing is, it's solid. It is it's, like it's some of these so movies we great. watch. Like you, I will probably easily put Iron Sky above a lot of yeah, them. So I would yeah. almost say that's in our top ten. Yeah, if we had a secondary top ten, yeah. I would I would um, put Iron Sky there. Adamata, which I keep getting confused because of the Penny Arcade comic, has Antonio Banderas in it. It's very dystopian. It was okay. It came I'm across sorry. a cool premise, which I put there, where basically like the only way you can create. A, a way to control robots is if a robot makes the controls, like you know parameters where they can't. To control AI, like, the, is the you rules. need a supremely intelligent AI to write that program. You write, to write like the laws of yeah. robots. It's, it had it's a cool very... premise that it wasn't executed as well as it could have been. I guess. Yeah, and it wasn't the trope. Like we've had other. It wasn't the basic stuff. Like in Bicentennial Man, the three basic laws of robotics it which wasn't are here the ti- and everything. Yeah, it wasn't the typical, typical. Isaac Asimov's um, laws of robotics. Box trolls, which was good. I didn't think as that as great as it. As well, paranormal. Yeah, paranormal. Yeah. Um, the interview, because of the whole controversy, um, we're like, hey, whatever, we'll watch yeah, we it. Saw it. It was good, and because Rose had seen that, I'm like, well, maybe like this is the end. I'm not a huge fan of most of Seth Rogen's films, like Knocked Up and a bunch of other crap that he's done, uh, Pineapple Express, et cetera, et cetera. I've seen one or two of those movies, um, and they're all right. They're okay. This is the end was funny. But yeah, this was the end because uh, I thought she would like watch the end because it was very uh, end of the world scenario. Uh, Hobbit um, was disappointed. Hobbit, for some reason, Hobbit. we were debating on watching, like, no, we're not going to watch it. Then we went to go see it, and we're like, 
Man, like, it felt like the climax of the film was 15 minutes in, which, spoiler, sorry, of course, if you don't know, like, you know, the whole smog thing happened. If you and, don't know by now, yeah, and the it, books have been out for it, some 50 freaking like, years almost, or something like that. Like, it almost, the action sequences just weren't as great as, let's say, uh, Return of the King. Like, well, it, it, it can't it, be as awesome. But it could be. It, it, no. Yeah, it, whatever. It wasn't. its nature, they're it not just that wasn't, awesome. It just didn't. It wasn't that great. Things happen that should have had more of an emotional impact, and, and we they just, just didn't. Meh. Yeah, it, was, it um, wasn't bad but it was me and then we have right here a couple movies that we wanted to know that rose that had seen I saw that i had, that had not, he seen. Had not um, seen um you have divergent which i will probably end up seeing because of the sequel insurgent right yeah i think which that's looks the which movie. the promo the the project report good. looks fantastic like i don't think you'll hate divergent um, it was it was it was good it was like you're one of the mill teenage just like i ended stuff. up watching the end of twilight and i started the whole hunger games thing so i mean yeah i could do this yeah um, it's along those veins of things and then earth, earth to echo to- um, Which, if you are an 80s kid and you saw the movies Batteries Not Included and E.T., it is that for the generation of kids growing up now. It's it, an excellent And you would movie. say it's just as solid as those two movies. It is definitely just as solid as those two movies. It's an, it's an excellent movie. Like, in, in that vein, like, it's like, if I was a kid, it's billed as a kid and kid's movie. But if I was a kid and I watched this movie, I would be scared. Yes. Some scary crap happens. So I'm I'm very you interested. Need to see that. I will definitely when this comes out I would definitely yeah. see it. It was on my list of kind of maybe things a thing, but I just wasn't you also go see friends your movies with your friends too, so we try to make sure there's not too much overlap. So that's why there's some movies I'm like, yeah, just go ahead and see it. Yeah, um, and then uh, Oculus, like Oculus. Oculus, yeah, because you are a big horror movie fan to begin yeah, with. Yeah, I did not see. I was gonna say any, the, there weren't any really good horror this movies. This is in pretty much, I mean, the, all yeah. the movies that you saw too. So yeah, you didn't see that many horror movies. Because we went through my ticket stuff yeah. and I keep all of them. Yeah, so Oculus, I guess, is the only horror movie that I saw in 2014. There weren't many horror movies coming out, and yeah, Oculus sounds boring, but it was entertaining uh, because. I went and saw it with Andy. Who typed this up? Me? I don't know. No, I typed it up. Anywho, these will, the, of course, these type ups <laughs> always go into my master Excel file with yeah. all the other reviews that will be coming up in the next probably month. We're going to chunk through these kind of piecemeal. You know, we have one for movies, music, games, mm-hmm. anime, TV, life, life events. events. And the new one this year, which will be building magic. Building ready run, building ready run stuff too. We're just lumping that in with life events. Ah, uh, we don't. We we have yeah. so much we'll that we're trying to figure out. But this is the first one. It probably won't go up anytime soon. But I wanted to do one because I grew this out for the holidays. So yay! It's July. It's July. Yeah, it's, it's July, July already. It's no, July, no, it's January third when we're recording this for reference. But who knows when we'll put it up? We'll yeah. See. So who knows? But as always, thanks everybody for watching once again. Top five movies. I want to say if you haven't seen them, you need to see. Whoa, two spoilers for wait, stuff. Wait, way too whoa, far. Wait, wait, too wait. Far. There you go. There way you go. Far. There you go. There we go. So uh, Guardians. Guardians. Lego. Lego. Wolf of Wall Street. Secret Life of Walter Mitty. Big Hero Six. See those movies if you haven't. It's worth your time. So good. Yeah. thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.